A couple of weeks ago, my husband and I met a man who, on the surface, seemed to know a whole lot about many topics, but especially in regards to faith. And he came to our church and um, we had a meal with him and, and let him share a lot about what he knew of faith. And he had some really interesting things to say, but then he had some very, very strange things that he said. Um, one of them being Jesus was 19 miles tall. I mean, there was some really weird stuff. And through that conversation, I felt my spidey sense kind of go off, if you will. This man has come to our church a couple more times since that meal, and I've never felt quite at ease with him. And uh, I learned just today that this is a man who has taken advantage of another person who needed some help. He is not at all the kind of person he seems on the surface. He um, fooled this man into thinking that uh, he was very genuine when the reality has shown that he was not and he was abusing this man in different ways. I think we need to be on our guard about people who claim to say things in the faith and then their walk in life and the words of their mouth aren't quite right. We will be aware if people start saying things that are just not right. So another example of this, several, many years ago, we had a man come to a church, sit down with us and tell us that baptism by fire meant you stared up into the sun and you allowed the sunshine, not the son of God, the sunshine, to burn the corneas of your eyes. That would be baptism by fire. There There's nothing in scripture that talks about this, my friends. Baptism by fire is fire from the Holy Spirit. It's it's a different thing entirely. Know your word of God. Know it so well that when people come into your midst, you can test and approve what they're saying. Be on guard, not just for yourselves, but also for those people who don't know better. It tells us in Romans 16, I urge you brothers and sisters to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Be on your guard. Don't be naive. Dig into God's word. Know your truth. Know it. So that when people like this come into your life and come around because they will, you are not taken in. You can hold firm and you can help others who are weak in the faith. Something to contemplate today. Blessings on you.